Well, we do have quite a Frankenstein of an app with all these different activities and actions floating around. So we've got our main activity, we've got our My First Button activity, we've got our About activity. They're interacting with all these intents. We're about to make things uh, a little more interesting by adding a splash screen to our application. And you know what a splash screen is. Some apps like to show a graphic before the main activity is displayed. And we're going to do that by adding another activity. And we're going to call that splash screen activity. And we're going to use an explicit intent to transfer to the main activity. And you can catch up on that, those two topics from tutorial seven and eight. I won't cover creating an activity and intents in too much detail here. So let's follow our application when you hit the launcher. So here's our application, and when you hit it, we're taken straight to the main activity, but we don't want that. So what's going on? Well, when you hit your launcher icon, your Android phone looks at the Android manifest, and it it looks for the activity with uh, with the launcher label. So is it is it here? Is it under my first button? No, that's default. Is it the about activity? No, that that's the default. Is it, is it the main activity? And it finds the activity that's labeled as launcher and it launches it, so that's why we see the main activity. But this intent filter, we don't need it in the main activity anymore. We want it in our splash screen. So I'm going to just cut it out and take it up to our entry for the splash screen and place it inside there. Our main activity doesn't need any intent at the moment. We're going to launch it using the explicit intent, which is enough. So let's go through how we're going to set the background image on our splash screen. Previously, I showed you how to use XML to define the splash screen graphic. And I've cre created down here, if you see, a new graphic called splash screen.png. We're not going to state that in the XML layout. Just to be different, we're going to do that programmatically. And when you're doing something programmatically, you have to have a reference. So for this linear layout, I'm going to have to give it an ID that we can hook onto. And all you have to do is tap in Android ID and then give it a name. Um, let's call it uh, layout underscore splash screen. Let's open our splash screen activity. At the very top of your class, we need something to hook onto that ID handle we just created. And because it's a linear layout, we're going to use a linear layout object. And we'll call it linear layout. We're also going to want a string that tracks the image resource. We're going to call that splash image, sorry, an integer. Make sure you're referencing your XML file content view. And now we can identify our layout by using linear layout, find view by ID, and then looking for our, our label, layout splash screen. So now we have a, a line here that grabs hold of our layout as soon as the activity is created with this onCreate method. The next thing you need to do is to check to see if the splash image, the static, integer image is set because if you're opening it for the first time it may not be so if splash image is zero we're going to want to use the member method in linear layout called set background resource to our drawable png file splash screen otherwise if it if it is set just set it to the current value okay 